Hello everyone, welcome to Illustresa. Today in our lecture, we are going to understand the concept of pattern live load. So uh, basically when, when you have a, uh, uh, you can say floor system or you have a continuous frame. So the when we are designing the buildings, we consider that all the dead loads and live loads are present there on the on the floor, right? But even if we consider that all the dead loads are present in the in the structure during, I mean, all the time, the the self weight of the structure, I mean, the the slab or beam and the floor finish loads, all these things are present in the structure. But the live load, the chance of live load being present in the all in all the base or in all the floors at at one time the same uh, you can say the same intensity of live load present in the all the base at the same time it's not practical so suppose we have these three bays and uh, suppose uh, i'm applying some live load now and currently in my case suppose in the mid span i have live load so if i apply live load you can see the mid columns are bending and the end two beams so if you see these two end beams these are going up as this is a continuous beam right correct okay now instead of applying this live load in the mid span suppose my live load is present now in this end span here in the right side so now you can see here this end two columns are bending and this beam is going up correct now, if I change it to here, the similar behavior we will see in the other end, right? Now, if you apply load on all three bays at a time, the behavior will not be the same, right? Suppose uh, now another, another condition I can take that I'll be applying the loads in these two bays together. So you can see the middle beam is going up and the columns are bending differently. So the code says or it is not only about indian code in different other codes also different other country codes also this concept of pattern live load is available where the code says that you do not you you consider the live load in all the base uh, in one condition and also consider different patterns of live load that some percentage of uh, live load is present in this bay maybe this bay is vacant and some other percentage of live load is present here Maybe this bay is fully loaded, the other two bays are not loaded totally, right? So in different patterns of live load recommended by different codes are there. And from these patterns, whichever is giving critical action for whichever component, the component shall be designed for that particular load. Suppose I'm applying some load here and other two bays are uh, vacant. So now for this load, the bending of this beam sagging and the hogging of this beam and uh, the bending of these columns are critical, right? So in different conditions, different element will be critical, right? So whichever pattern is giving critical action for whichever uh, you can say a component, that component shall be designed for that action. So you need just have to uh, consider different uh, patterns and you have to design the components for the envelope of that particular loading pattern, okay? So this is the concept behind pattern live load. I hope it is clear to all of you. If you have any doubt or if you have any suggestion for our upcoming videos, please do comment uh, down so that we can uh, consider your uh, suggestion. Thank you and we'll see you in the next video.